Hello and welcome to my tutorial my tutorial on how to make a um a origami flapping train. And it's really easy to make you just need a shape paper about this big. Um half of these papers. And it's not the post it card, but it's really easy to make and it here's the stuff that it's really flat. You have to pull on it. So, here it is. Okay, first you start out with folding your paper, uh, folding your paper in half, just like this. Then, unfold it and fold it down the other way. And fold it like this. And you turn it clockwise and fold it that way. Now you should have um, a plus sign with an X over it. Then you want to just keep it like this if you want to. Then turn it around and just tuck this, this piece right here, just in the thing. Down, just like that, mm -hmm. just like a water bottle. Then you tuck this side in, like that, and you close it. Then you should have a box. You take one, and you should notice that you have some of these flaps right here, just like a water balloon, um, just like water mouth. Like that. You want to um, just lay it flat. You take one of these flaps, you can see that you have two of them on each side, and just fold it over like this. You do that on all four of them. This must be a fan Everybody hates Chris! Everybody hates Chris. Everybody hates Chris. Okay, then you should have something like this. You unfold all of them. Then, as it, as you can remember, whenever you put it like this, where it, <coughs> like that, then you see that there is um, a flap that you can lift up like that. Then you just wanna lift it up just like that. You just notice that if it moves, and these move with it. But if you didn't, then if you didn't fold it like this, then then these then these things right here they would be tucked in to where it couldn't move. It would be like something like this. They're pulling it, but they're not moving. So you just want to untuck those. Then untuck. Okay. So you just take it, then you, you do the same thing that you did on the outside, and then on the inside. And then you can have what looks like a diamond with some boxes behind it. You should have something that looks just like this. Okay. You want to tell me later. Tell me after this. Okay. Then you want to do the same thing with the other side. Then just do the same thing. Sorry if my voice is a little bit down. I'm sick and I got fever, so bear with me. Alright, so then, after you're done with that, you can have what looks like a diamond with two legs, but the top can't be that. You just want to lay it flat, just like that. 
and you want to take it. Then if you then if you see then if you turn it so the legs are like this from the bottom. Turn it just like that. And if you open it, you will see that there is um a line right there, so you just wanna fold this. So you just wanna unfold this right here. You just tuck that all the way up there. And do this then um you can do the same as the other side, but I just wait because it messes me up a little bit. It's like rather wrong one minute. So. Okay, so then you pull it out just like that, and it's okay if this does come down. It's supposed to. And as you can see, that there, that that is exactly what you have to do. Because look, those are the things I'm gonna just pull that out just like that. Okay, then you do the same with the other side, you just tuck this up. Then you then you can do it a little bit further if you want to, but wait no you can't. I just wanna do it a little bit farther if it looks a little bit too little for him. Okay. Then you should have this. Now whichever you, side you wanna be, I would choose the neater side because this one is a little bit damp. And this one is just perfect. So this is gonna be the head. So you fold these. These are gonna be the wings. Then you fold these wings up towards the head. You can't do it towards the hill, tail. And I'll show you why at the end of the video. So you do it just like that. You don't want to fold it completely down. So you just want to fold it a little bit over like that because it'll mess it up if you don't. And you fold this, but so this side yeah. is on the tip of the other side. Then you push back, and it should look something like this. Now, if you can tell the difference, then it is really easy. It still works without the head, but if you want to do the head, then that's okay. So look. Just make sure that it flaps just like that and make sure that these are able to go back in and come back out. Then with the head, if you want to do it, then you can just fold these down. Or you can leave them up there, but it's kind of hard up there. So I just fold them down, then just open this, fold it down however you, however big you want the head, then you just crease it. Just like Then, then you should have something just like this. And you pull it to flap it. And that's the end of it.